Okay, 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 okay. I may be slightly biased, but I hate Arsenal. I hate them with a passion. Them bloody gooners, they manage to cuck everything up, even when I'm not even in the same bloody league, and they manage to cuck everything up. <sighs> it's a transfer special. Get ready. Welcome back everyone to Transfer Special! Very special indeed. I mean, I have gone proper ham. This episode might last, I don't know, a damn hour or something. <clears throat> I guess I should clarify that, yes, I am indeed a Tottenham Hotspur fan, but it doesn't actually mean I hate Arsenal. I don't really, but I definitely do in this game, because, yes, they managed to just wreck all my plans and make my life very, very, very sad. So here's why, or how, they managed to somehow do that. <clears throat> As you can see, we have a little player here called Coutinho. Offered him out to the whole world, and Arsenal were like, Yes, please, let's have him. 90 million, was it? 85 million? Something along those lines. Uh, they offered everything up front. No clauses, no nothing. Everyone else were like, eh, I'll give you half. All that fannying around, you know, classic FM. Reject all those, sell them to Arsenal, right? Profit. I love you, Arsenal. I always loved you. What do they then do? They skimp out on the damn contract and he laughs in their faces, saying, <laughs> So I have to offer him out again. No one is now suddenly interested because, I don't know, I have to offer him out less. <sighs> Here we are. As you can see, Coutinho is in Paris Saint-Germain. How much did he go for? 48 million. This one really, really hurt, but ah, I needed money, money very fast, and mm -mm, I'm not going to play him. I want to progress, so, mm. but, you know, it's a one-time thing, right? Surely they can not screw me up more than once. Oh, what's this? Umtiti is at PSG as well. That's weird. Oh, well, I hope I got good bucks for him, you know, offering him up for, like, 60 million, was it 55 or something? Everyone's interested. Arsenal willing to pay the big bucks. They get in. I reject everything else. <sighs> they skimp out on the contract again. What happens? 42 and a half. Not too shabby, but like compared to 60 million? Bloody Arsenal. Anywho, surely they are done wrecking my day, right? Oh, what's this? 31-year-old Pjanic, declining and still at Barcelona? That's weird. He's unhappy because he feels like he's being forced out of the club. He was. Arsenal were ready. 60 million. Everything up front. I'm sure you can guess where this is going. He's still at Barcelona. No one is willing to buy him. Like I tried even offering him out for 43, his value, and people are like offering 20, where like 5 up front and all sorts. I guess people are done with their business. So... Sadly, he's still here. Surely that's it, though. No, 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 no. As you probably guessed, it wasn't it. Sergio Roberto has gone to Liverpool. Arsenal were keen, but apparently not keen enough to offer him a real contract. Arsenal would have paid 80 million as well for this geezer, but nah, Liverpool ended up paying 60. Still not the worst, but... It's an extra 20 million in the bank. Definitely could have used it. But... Oh well. Surely they are done now. No, in fact, they actually are done now. But that was the four transfers that they proper wrecked for me. And I was so excited. And new <laughs> bloody gooners. Let's take a look at uh, some of the other outs. You can enjoy my beautiful, beautiful face. As I'm using it to hide the incoming ones. Because... They're very special. Well, you saw PSG went a bit ham and bought loads of my players. Apparently so did United. This is a bit of a weird one. Um, Sergio Busquets for 29 million. I, I didn't even want to sell him. I thought, keep him around. He's a good friend. Look how happy he looks and everything. But as soon as the season was finished, he came and said, I want to leave. I want a new challenge and all sorts. So I was like, mm, okay. 
offered him out for his value, and yeah, United were interested, so later. Big one, though, is Usman Dembele for 90 million. I mean, we were always going to get rid of him. He's Dembele. He's annoying. He's... And United were willing to pay 90 million, which is very, very good. I had to delay the Busquets one. It was pretty funny. Like, I had to delay it because, well, I wanted to make sure they had enough money to bloody sign Dembele so I wouldn't have another Arsenal debacle on me. But, yeah, they were able to buy both those for good, good money. So, And, of course, the squad were whining that I sold Busquets. Like, what? He wanted to leave, but do what? what do you want me to do? And they were like, oh, you're right, boss. Good choice. Why are we having this conversation? <sighs> so besides the two United transfers, we saw Umtiti Coutinho going to PSG as well. Sold Neto for a total of 33.5 million. Like, 32-year-old backup keeper. I got a new backup keeper that's just as good and has a bit of potential instead. So cash in. And he was on a surprisingly high wage as well, considering he's like a you know backup. So he's gone. What else? Some loans here and there. Oh my god, yes. I'm sorry, guys. I had to do it. Jack Wilshire is no more. I mean, he's not dead, but I sold him. So I got him on a free. He played, actually played 13 matches. But got one goal. Sold him for 7 million, a potential 8.5. Mm, good business. I mean, I probably spent that amount in wages, but who knows. Uh, lots of loan signings going out as well, so nothing much there to become a lot so it's 245 million but that's last season this is what really annoys me so sports interactive like all these transfers i i did in the summer like i sold them in the summer but they pop up on season 2021 so i have to go to 2122 to then see stuff which is kind of sucky and a bit annoying so it's 165 so it's a total of 410 million we sold not too bad Probably pops out to your eye there. I kind of sold Antoine Griezmann to PSG as well for 73 million. I mean, the guy's world class, though. He's getting there in the age department, and you know, I sold half the team to PSG anyways, and he wanted to be with his friends, so by all means. Eagle Eyed can probably guess why PSG suddenly have so much money. <clears throat> it's not a hard one. And then Next one, like I said, set your bet to Liverpool for 60 million. Good business, though, but, you know, he, he, he could easily have stayed around and played a part, but I just wanted to refresh the squad as much as possible, which is also sadly why Brave Dino, winner of the Balloon Door, has gone to West Ham. I guess they need a good pressing forward that doesn't score goals. Hey, hang on a minute. So he's already played one in the Premier League and scored a goal. A player of the match. Can I buy him back? Ah, come on. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I sold Junior Firpo as well. He's just... Mm, it's like, he's 24. If he was 20, all these attributes look great, right? He's so well-rounded, but... Mm, just doesn't jump out there. Got, what, seven, seventeen and a half for him? No, sorry. That was Brave Dino. 13 for him. At this point, this was a bit of a, a desperation one. I desperately needed some money to finish the last transfer, and I just needed someone to leave. Like, get out the door, please. And it was sadly Firpo that got wrecked. I did, like I said, I sold for four hundred and ten million pounds. Right. Problem was that right before the transfer window opened, the board, like, what's this called? Like, they cut down the percentages of any transfers that I would make, and I desperately tried to increase it again once we got a little bit of money back and they were like not having any of it so i did sell for 410 million but i definitely didn't get 410 million which is kind of kind of disappointing but uh, oh well uh Jonas knusen also left 1.9 million to montpellier they can enjoy his long throws i certainly did um i mean i even made a profit on him so and he played in 15 matches and got one assist that was definitely a long throw. Probably to PK. Um, so yeah, and then some more loanies going out here. Not much to speak about there. Alright, now for the fun bit. The ins. Where did I spend all 
call them moolah? Well, let's start by some of the with some of the already confirmed ones and also free ones because I did those in the winter. Eric Garcia has indeed joined his home of Catalan or Catalonia or whatever. I mean, he's just he's wonder kid and he's so goddamn good, right? He's just what you want at Barcelona, proper ball playing defender, and he's gonna start as much as humanly possible. Um, yeah, I mean, just like everything about him, and obviously getting him for free is just even even better. On a forty-eight and a half thousand per week, I mean, that's nothing in today's world. So happy about that one. Next bit of business: free transfer as well. You're gonna learn this about me. I love a good free transfer. It's just it's amazing. He's worth 56 million now. You can play him for one season. You don't even have to play him if you don't want to. But obviously you're gonna. It's Memphis Depay, everyone. And he's just a great, great option to have on all the front uh, positions. Mainly at the left, but he can play all of them. So it's just perfect. I mean, first touch technique is just off the charts, right? Good pace, good acceleration. And more importantly, he has really, really good finishing on 15. Like, great, great inside forward on the left. And yeah. When you get him for free, why not? Maybe not so super duper exciting, but it's what I think Barcelona will do in real life, at least in the summer. So whether you want it or not, uh, hmm, ah, he, I went for it. He said yes. Yeah, he's free. That's it. I tried getting uh, David Alaba as well on a free, but he wasn't having any of. I mean, he wanted to come, but then City kind of just outpicked me, and he went to City, which is probably a good thing. I mean. He, Kinda doesn't go with my whole plan of uh, youth euthanizing. That's definitely not the correct word you use, but like youth injectioning Barcelona. Wow, that is some next level English. By the way, I'm an English teacher. Sticking with the uh, free transfers, got another exciting one here. Fabio Blanco, who is a real player, but he's from Valencia. I never heard of him before, but my scouts were like telling me, yeah, you should get that one. He's free, and potentially he's very, very good. Like good technique, good first touch, good acceleration, and he's right-footed, playing on the right wing. That is bonkers, right? I know a right-footer on the right wing. Whew, mind-blowing. They're all inside bloody forwards nowadays. Anywho, got him on a free. Seventeen years old. He's gonna be in the under 19s and hopefully develop really well. One day, maybe four and a half star. You never know. Next one is also a free one, and in this one I feel particularly scammed. I don't know how many months my bloody scout team kept approaching me saying, Oh, you need to sign this one, he's going to be free, he's going to be amazing, and he's an Italian, and he's called Hent, which I only just realized now, which is definitely not Italian. But anyways, Hans, Hans Gruber, new, just, uh, he plays for Barcelona B, okay? I feel like some sort of agent has um, impersonated my... Scout team has just said, oh, you need to sign this guy, sign him, sign him, sign him. So I did. Eventually I got bored of all the bloody scouting reports and like, God damn it, I'll just sign him then. I mean, 5k a week, I mean, on a free, has a bit of potential. Maybe he doesn't. Who knows? He's in the B team. Next one is pretty much the same story. Just my scouts spamming me, telling me to buy this guy. Uh, so I did. And he was almost a free transfer. I paid 1.4 from... Zaragoza. Uh, welcome, Luis Carbonell. Carbonara? Let's call him that for now. Um, potentially a really good striker, only 18, Spanish. Mm, not too shabby, but not too exciting either. But you need a bit of potential in there, don't you? Right, well, so far we've only spent 1.5 million of the total of 360. 70 million, yes, sure, why not? Five players left. This is the first one. It's Alte by India, hopefully. Also, he kind of produces the Turkish uh, quota that I need to maintain my Mrs. happiness. Very, very important. I told you I got rid of Neto for good money, actually, and then this is the replacement. Three star. Bit of a wonder kid in real life, apparently, or maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Bought him for 17.25 from Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce. Um, not much to say really. I love he has 18 aerial reach, which is amazing, right? One on ones are amazing. Reflex is amazing. Jumping reach as well. I mean, 
crosses are definitely not going to go near him, otherwise you will never score against us. So we're adding a, more levels to our stokedness, which is just added bonus in it. So here he is. It's Alte for just 17.25. Not too bad. Pretty happy with him. But what can I say? It's a backup goalkeeper who will play in the cup. Uh, this one is probably a bit boring as well, but with uh, the world's best left back leaving, Jonas Knudsen, I kind of needed a, a backup for, well, when Alba eventually dies. Um, and yeah, this is just the perfect wonder kid for the future in it, Nuno Mendes. I keep hearing about him in real life and I was like, yeah, let's check him out. And five star potential, perhaps. Great crossing, great dribbling, and his pace is amazing. Natural fitness as well, 16. He's just very, very good for a 19-year-old, isn't he? And he just turned 19 as well, by the way. So, so much space to renew, uh, to develop in. English is hard sometimes, apparently. Bought him from Sporting for a whopping 41 million. They were having no negotiations whatsoever, so I had to just activate his release clause, which was 41 million. He's in the bag. Going to play loads, I hope. I mean, Alba is still going to be first choice, but they're going to rotate in and out. And uh, there's going to be plenty of playing time for this geezer. And hopefully he'll develop really, really well. Now this one I'm very excited about. It might be very obvious and a bit boring, but to me I'm very excited about it. I've never had this geezer before because, well, I haven't really played FM even last year. So this guy was not a wonder kid back when back two years ago he's completely fresh or so to speak uh, it's Eduardo Camavinga I really needed like a defensive option now that Busquets decided to leave me stranded <laughs> anyway like, and this is just the perfect fit in it already has 16 passing 16 tackling determination of 16 as well positioning 16 anticipation 16 he is just so darn good in it and 18 he's gonna develop so well and he's gonna play the more defensive of my two midfielders and yeah he's gonna do an amazing job gonna play him as much as humanly possible as well what did i pay it says 48 but oh this happens oh i did not know that you can hover that and it says potential cost incoming add-ons 63 total that's actually very cool i didn't even know that we're learning here yeah so that's very convenient so Potentially, 63 million for him. Not too bad. I mean, it's a lot of money, but he is just so darn good, isn't he? And he looks so happy to be here. I'm glad. Now, as I'm sure you already guessed it, the reason why PSG are suddenly so damn wealthy is because I did indeed buy Mbappe. Mbappe is now at Barcelona. I am very, very thrilled about that. Not the most exciting one, but, I mean, if you have the money... Just buy Mbappe, right? If you can actually afford it, then why the heck not? I mean, basically, it's between him and Haaland, Holland, uh, depending on if you are Norwegian or not. Mm. And I, I think Holland is almost the more obvious one in terms of big, like, good business and stuff. So that's why I went completely opposite and just bought Mbappe. He's worth 134. That's pretty mad, actually. I paid 160 and then a uh, potential of 185 million but I mean it's Mbappe he scored 20 goals in 29 games last year he is ridiculous 20 pace and 20 acceleration everything about him is just amazing I don't need to explain all these things it's bloody Mbappe look at his cheeky smile there as well he loves it he knows he's gonna win the balloon the balloon door once Retinho retires he knows it and he should he scored 84 goals in 105 matches for PSG in four years. Not too damn bad, is it? <sighs> I mean... <sighs> so, yeah, you can see why I was, like, really rushing to sell lots of players. I needed Moolah in the bank, and I needed it fast. Because, I mean, there's not much to say. It's bloody Mbappe. All right, well, that wraps it up. I mean, I'm so... All right, but that wraps up all the transfers. I mean, surely Mbappe is the one I'm the most excited about, right? So I did him last. No, 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 no. 
that. That's only four transfers. There's actually one more transfer that I'm even more excited about than Mbappe. And here he is. It is Trent Alexander-Arnold. I mean, just look at him. Look how amazing he is. Only 22. He's young and he's already like world class. He's definitely the best right back in the game. And I think. Uh, yeah, probably in the real world. As, I mean... Being a Barcelona fan, I sadly know all about him as he wrecked me in the Champions League. In real life, that is. But now he's gonna, well, hopefully not wreck me again. That would be very annoying. But he is in the van. He's just so goddamn good. Anyway, there's not much to say. I'm so excited about having him. What did I pay? <laughs> Potential of 117 million. But. It is Trent Alexander-Arnold. I mean, let me just say, passing. I mean, he has 18 crossing and 18 technique. And he's just going to hes gonna fit in perfectly. Him and Messi are going to become like best friends and going to dominate the right side of my attack. Right? That sounded correct. I don't know. That's what they're going to do. That is the plan. Not much to say. Trent Alexander-Arnold, welcome. You are amazing. Very excited about that one. So, with all that, that is pretty much what we managed to do. We kept PK around. I mean, he's only worth 6 million. There's no point selling him. He's getting slow, but he's still world class, right? Four star. Um, and he's going to be. He's the vice captain. He should just stick around and enjoy his life with Shakira and just drink some mojitos and stuff and uh, come to training. That's pretty much it. Uh, other than that, I tried to sell Lengle, but mm, no one was really willing to offer any like big money, so I'm keeping him for now. I mean, he's still world class. Uh, Alba as well. I mean, it's only right now suddenly that wait, what was that? That suddenly Manchester United are now interested in him. Um, I never even considered selling him. I'm gonna keep him around for. God damn it, he is. He looks a bit like a rabbit on that picture, doesn't he? Anywho, I'm going to just keep him around for a year. And uh, he's just world class. Anyway. He's going to tutor Nuno Mendes to becoming the best well uh, left back. Other than that, I mean, we get this geezer back, Turibo. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to have him and Garcia play as much as humanly possible, hopefully. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Sadly, Araujo kind of suffers from that because, well... I was going to play him too, but hmm, sometimes things got to change. And speaking of, well, speaking of something that didn't change at all is the actual formation. It's the boring 4 2 3 one but I mean, if it works, then keep it. That's definitely not how the phrase goes, but you know what I mean. Only the personnel have now changed, so the young is just... I mean, <clears throat> I'm going to keep him here forever. Uh, he's just amazing, and I'm building the team basically around him. But I also have Moriba that I'm going to give loads more playing time now that uh, we got rid of some of the dead weight in the midfield, some of the old boys. Um, same like Pjanic, for instance. I mean, he's still here, uh, but he's still world class. He'll, we'll find some game time for him here and there, mostly so we can sell him, hopefully. But Moriba is... Uh, Someone we're going to put a lot of trust into. Same goes for Kanavinga, who's actually starting in this match. He's just going to sit there. Don't don't even like let him do his thing. Um, Messi, of course, on the right. Petri is now going to be my starter on the attacking midfield role. He was already amazing last year, and that's one of the reasons I just got rid of Coutinho, is because I want to play this guy. He is going to be amazing in real life as well. Like He's just taken Barcelona with Storm. Same with Ansu Fati. I mean, speaking of Fatih on the left, sadly, Fatih got injured in real life and it's kind of put a damper on things, but, you know, those two are going to be absolutely amazing. And they're both going to start all the time, which is also one of the reasons I actually did like signing, where is he? Where is he? Memphis Depay. is one of the reasons I actually did go for him, even though it's a bit of a boring one, but it's because he can play those two roles perfectly, so... When rotation hits and if anyone gets injured, we have Dupai. Same with Messi. I can put Messi in the middle one and then put this guy, who I also want to play a lot, Trincao, who's going to be amazing as well. Sadly, 
problem is when you have Messi in front of you in the squad. Like it's pretty difficult to start games in it. So I'm sure we can find space for Trincao when Messi gets injured or when we have to rotate and we mix around the <clears throat> the front three of the midfield. And Mbappe is just going to be up front and kind of the same goes for him. I mean, he can play both sides as well. So a lot of versatility up front, which I absolutely love. He can do pretty much whatever. What else? Well, now that I look at it, I feel that maybe I could use a bit of a striker. I mean, we have Depay and Messi can play up there if absolutely necessary. Might be something worth going into the market for because I still have a bit of money. I say that. I have 1.7. Are you joking? Where's, where's my money? Where's all my money gone? And I can't... What are you doing, Gandalf? Sorry, the cat was just making weird noises. I guess we're not going to sign anyone then, unless we manage to sell someone. So I'm very happy with the squad now. Um, the revolution is happening slowly. Um, Juno Mendes is going to take it over for Alba. And I guess the next step is finding a keeper. But the staking is just yowzers, mate. 29 still, so... Pretty, pretty good. The one guy I actually feel very sorry for is Sergio Dest, who, I mean, he still has potential to just be absolutely amazing, but then I signed Trent Alexander-Arnold, and it's just like, hmm. Now, okay, he's two years older, Trent. Let's see if uh, Dest can develop into this in two years. I mean, if he can, then that would be actually amazing. But, uh... But nah, he'll get loads of game time as well. Now also that I managed to sell uh, Sergio Roberto. So there's going to be loads of loads of matches where all the young ones can get their chance. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm very excited. I mean, I don't know why I'm showing this guy. Let's get, he's only here because I'm trying to loan him out. So I don't forget about him in the B team. But apparently no one wants to loan him. Same goes for Elena. I might, might keep him around because he is... He is a very good, like, three-star player. One of those, like, just very well-rounded, like, yeah, technically. Just very, very good option to have. And he can play on the attacking midfield role as well, if absolutely necessary. Mm. PK is still here as well. Like, it's all just looking very, very... I mean, if we sort by the ratings, it's pretty darn good. Potential is probably even more exciting, right? I mean, we have so much potential at this squad. It's very, very, very exciting. I mean, from here, oh, from here and upwards, like the potential is just so amazing. And even Chenkao, who has five star usually, I think he went down because I, well, didn't really play him enough last season. What did he get? Eighteen match, oh, wrong button. Eighteen matches total, but only six. That's non-competitive. Only three starts in the league. Not amazing. But I'm gonna play him a lot more, hopefully this season, and uh, see how he develops. Yeah. So that is pretty much it. Did I actually have... I almost feel like I had someone else coming in. Uh, yeah, yeah, where is he? Oh, no, it's not this geezer. It's Burak Ins. First, the, I was just looking at, like, random Turkish players, right? And then this guy, like, jumped at me. Because he's called Ins. Like, I'm thinking, what is it? Paul Ins or whatever. I was like, that's weird. So, he's just a bit of a... A bit of a wonder kid for the future, maybe. Who knows? Other than that, very boring. But yeah, I'm very excited for this season. I'm actually going to start it off well right now, but I'll come back with another video at, well, I don't really know exactly. Maybe do Real Madrid, actually, and just play through a bit and see what's up. Maybe there's probably going to be some Champions League draws at some point as well. We can do that. As you can see, friendlies went pretty all right. I somehow lost to Shakhtar. I don't know what that's about, but... Yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this uh, transfer bonanza special, boring, just watching me buy all the wonder kids in the world, well, then subscribe and like and uh, watch the next episode where we kick off the league and maybe some Champions League action. I'm not quite decided yet. Anyways, ciao till then. Bye.